Hi, I'm Seth, and in this video, we will look at what it takes to plan a great Applied CS program for students. The most successful programs are those that have been designed with the students in mind. As a facilitator, you are responsible for the environment and experience of the students. This will be heavily influenced by the decisions you make when planning the program, such as the unit or track selection, workshop cadence, workshop facilitation style, and so on. You can use our program content in many different ways to best fit the objectives for you and your students. You can select any number of units to complete, one, two, or even six. Each unit activity is about five hours of workshop time and covers topics ranging from beginner to more advanced concepts within data structures and algorithms. For those looking for a more comprehensive program, we also have a selection of learning tracks, each consisting of five units and a code sprint that are arranged by overall difficulty level. You can also choose the best schedule for your students. Workshops can be hosted on weekends or weekdays, during school term, or outside. We've seen the program hosted over consecutive weekends, over a week, and even condensed into two days. Consider students' schedules to find a time to run the program that suits them. For example, scheduling a workshop the day before finals exams doesn't always work well. Before setting up a program, be clear about the CS experience level needed to join the program. Knowing this should allow you as a facilitator to pitch the content in your program at the right level and avoid having a group with a wide variation in experience knowledge, and skills. The learning objectives we provide explain exactly what CS and Android concepts are covered in each unit in order to help you make your decision. A good tip if you're unsure is to go with the first level. Once you know who your audience is and what the program content will look like, you can start finding and arranging a space to run the workshops and thinking about how to market Applied CS to gather interested students. If you're based at a college or university, it's often helpful to approach faculty or staff to help you navigate these issues and support your program. While it's totally up to you to determine how many students should participate, we suggest keeping the maximum participation under 40 so that the workshop can be collaborative enough while still being a manageable size to facilitate. We hope you found this video on setting up an Applied CS program helpful. And if you're interested in learning more, be sure to check out our videos on tips and tricks for running workshops and our guide to the resources available to facilitators.